Hello and welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com. In this uh, video, we're going to talk about why you should learn Python. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've had some thoughts about learning some kind of programming language. Um, if it's your first per programming language that you're trying to learn, Python is definitely the way to go. It is by far the easiest programming language to learn. Um, it really doesn't have many limitations. Uh, some people argue that. Um, some people have their doubts about Python, but Python is very powerful, and there's some proof to that. Uh, Google uses Python. NASA uses Python. There is hundreds of success stories of uh, major companies in the U.S. and around the world that use Python. Um, the biggest advantage of Python is it's readable. It's like reading English. Uh, Basically, uh, when you read Python, it's like reading a book. It's very simple to read. Um, so when when you go ahead and read it, you're actually able to learn it a lot easier. Um, there's no crazy syntax that you need to learn. That you know, if you wanted to do one thing, you need to know a syntax for that, and you want to do another, you got to know a syntax for that. Syntax is very straightforward. Like I said, it's like reading English. Um, your code's reusable. Um, I don't know if you heard about object-oriented object uh, programming or functional programming. Uh, basically, when you write a program, you can call it from, you could write code to be called later on in your program where you're not completely rewriting code every time you want it, your software to do something. Um, it's very user-friendly in that realm. So, um, it's a less lot work less work on our part as the programmer. Uh, I'm very lazy, so the less work I have to do, the better off I am. So um, that's more time you get to spend with your family and friends that you you know when you're you're programming, you're not stuck behind a computer all day long. Um, the pro productivity of the of the Python software is you know amazing. Um, it takes like uh, I believe I've read like one fifth of what uh, C or C++ would take to write the same program. It's because you can reuse your code. Um, there's built-in functions already written for you, so you're not completely rewriting stuff. So it's very productive. Um, also, while we're talking about reusable and product um, productive code. Uh, Python has packages, um, software written by other programmers. Uh, as of today, uh, February 18th, I believe it is, um, 2015, uh, there's 55,000 software packages within Python's software package library. Uh, you can visit that at pypypi.python.org backslash pypypi. Um, to check that out, there's, like I said, 55,000 packages available for you to use. Um, you know, it, searching for which one's right takes some time. But once you find one, it's a lot less code you need to write. You know, someone already wrote uh, code for having users, um, for example, sign into your software or onto your website or something along those lines. I'm sure that has been written. I know it's been written. And it's probably been uh, written several different ways. So, you know, Python is very flexible, it's very powerful, and a lot less time consuming um, compared to other programming languages out there. Also, the support with uh, Python. Uh, if you have a question, you just Google it, you're going to get an answer. Um, I'd like to warn you, though, some of these answers can confuse you more than help you. That's why uh, I suggest to pick a source for uh, looking up information about Python, like uh, our website, for example, learnpythontutorial.com. If you have a question, check out our site before turning to other sites. I'm not just saying that so you visit our website. It's, it's good to understand where the source of information is coming from when you're looking for it. Um, you know, someone might post something on the forum that says, this will help you. And you go and do it, and it screws up your whole program. So, you know, 
just be cautious of that. I, I don't care where you get your information as long as you're, you're aware that, you know, some information may be uh, misleading. Um, and completely, like, completely why I chose, uh, I guess completely is not the word, uh, why I've chose Python as my go-to programming la language is just flat out fun to use. Um, the, the ability to read through the program, like I said, it's readable. It's powerful. Um, you're not just stuck making software programs. You can make websites with, you know, uh, with the uh, frameworks that come along with Python. Uh, you can make games with Python. You can make apps with Python. Uh, Python's very powerful and it's fun. And, you know, there's no limitation on what you can do with it. Um, also, uh, you know, I'm not bashing other languages saying you must learn Python. I learned PHP, I learned Ruby, I learned C and C++, which I didn't really get into, and uh, Python. And Python is by far my favorite. Um, and then, like I said, it's because it's easy, it's readable, it's productive, it's powerful. Um, there is one downside to Python, which is slowly diminishing as computers get faster. Um, and that is the speed. Uh, back in the day when Python first came out, it, it took a while for programs to run. Um, I am seeing this less and less by the day. Python is getting fast. And that has you know, to do with the developers figuring out ways to speed up the language. And also with the computers that are out nowadays that are super fast. So, um, you know, Python is something, you know, it's going to be around for years. So you're not missing out on, oh, maybe I should learn another pro programming language because, you know, Python might disappear. It is not going to disappear. I mean, it's being used by Google. It's been used by NASA. Uh, I th think Instagram uses it. There's so many other uh, big websites and companies and that are out there using it. Um, you know, they use it for robotics. They use it for programming your home to be smart, smart homes or whatever they are called. Um, Python's used across all te uh, technology related web uh, companies. I was about to say websites. So uh, with that being said, uh, if you're not convinced yet, then maybe go and search other programming languages out there. But I'm sure you're going to come back and say, you know what, Python's the one I want to learn. And it's because Python is very flexible, powerful, and readable. Um, and that's all you need to know. I mean, it's flat out amazing. So, uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial. We'll be, uh, looking at the history of Python. Um, you know, if you're going to learn a language, you need, you need to know the history. Uh, know it's up and downs. So, uh, check out our next tutorial and we will, uh, see you then.